Hey everyone, my name is Adam. I am a PGY2 resident at Montefiore, and in this video, I'm going to be taking you through the week in my life as a PMNR resident. Hopefully, you'll get to learn a little bit more about our program, see some of our other residents doing awesome work, and you'll be able to see some cool aspects of PMNR. I am currently on outpatient clinic right now, but I'll also be doing some sports medicine coverage this week. I will be doing a inpatient call in our acute rehab, and so you'll get to see a few different aspects of PMNR. So hope you enjoy, excited to bring you along with me this week. And now we're going to jump into a Friday clinic day as well as my call day for the week. Hey, what's up guys? My name's Adam. I am a PGY2 resident in PMNR at Montefiore. Today I'm going to bring you along with me in the day of the life of a PGY2 resident. It's Friday and we actually have a lot of different things going on this weekend. So right now I'm driving into lecture. I actually live on the Upper East Side in the Monte is in the Bronx. Uh, it's a pretty easy commute for me because I have my car, but also a lot of residents will just take the subway as well, which is not too bad. And uh, so we have lecture on Friday mornings. We usually meet with uh, the sports medicine director and do different joints. So today we will be doing the shoulder. And then right now, this month, I'm on clinic. Usually uh, the rotations switch every month. So on October 1st, it's September as I'm recording this, I'll be on a different rotation. And then on November 1st, I'll be on a different rotation after that. And so I'll do clinic throughout the day. And then I'm actually on call today. So sometimes you gotta get weekend calls, especially PGY2s get a little bit more weekend calls, but it's overall not too bad. And so I'm gonna be going from clinic into the inpatient, acute inpatient unit to cover from 5 p.m. until the next day. And then after that, I actually am doing game coverage for a varsity uh, football game in the Bronx. And so I'll go from call right there, which is pretty awesome opportunity that we get to do as only PGY2. So stick along with me. Hopefully you enjoy. You're going to get a lot of different aspects of PMNR in a short period of time. And uh, I hope you enjoy. we made it to the parking garage and we're on the roof because <laughs> there's one big parking garage for this whole hospital but there's always enough room for parking sometimes you just got to come to the top floor and then they valet the car for you so if you do drive add an extra five to ten minutes just to make sure that your parking situation is all handled and you're not late Yeah, sure. We got right there, that's a good shot. It's easy to me. Alright, so we just finished lecture, which was actually more just learning ultrasound, which was a nice surprise. And now I'm heading over to North Central Bronx Hospital, which is right nearby. So Monty residents, we work at uh, both the Monty main campus and then also Jacoby and North Central Bronx, which are state hospitals, part of the NYH system. And uh, here, like you can see right here. And so you get a slightly different patient population. Uh, we accept pretty much all patients, especially if you don't have insurance. And it's good to get experiences from both and so we're able to do that which is nice and it's all close 
in terms of location. So I'm in clinic right now, just saw our first patient. It was a follow-up for right-sided shoulder pain. And the good thing about clinic, as a resident, we're able to see the patients ourselves. I do the full history, full exam, really work on those special maneuvers. So for example, for this patient, they had a positive Hawkins, negative near, full range of motion. When the shoulder is also closely related to the neck, so you want to do other exams like spurling, see if there's any radiculopathy. And uh, then I present. The attending talks to you about the plan. You also should be presenting and thinking about your differential and what the plan may be. The attending comes and sees the patient as well. Then you finish up your note, put it in the orders, and then let the patient go. And so it's a very successful visit we just had. And now I will go find what my next patient will be and see them. All right, just finished the last patient of the day. It's about 3.30 for clinic on Friday. That is not too bad. We had a uh, numbness and tingling in the hand up the forearm uh, with history of neck and shoulder pain as well. So we're gonna refer to EMG for a ruling out of cer cervical radiculopathy versus carpal tunnel syndrome, had a positive Tinell sign. So these are some of the skills we're starting to learn as PGY2s, getting those physical exam and special tests down is always key. I'm gonna go head over to wellness clinic just to say hi see what some of our other residents are doing every friday we do a wellness clinic run by the residents uh, to help with chronic pain for patients so we'll go take you there and see what's going on all right so we have one of my co-residents fellow pgy2 here he just finished up or i guess there's one more patient for wellness clinic right it's yes. friday so what did you do today on wellness, wellness clinic? clinic we do a lot of things uh, we do osteopathic manipulative medicine those treatments are kind of like a manual therapy kind of can get out some myofascial muscle tenderness um kind of restore some of the biomechanics to the body. We did some sound therapy. Dr. Thompson, our chief, did that. We did uh, some acupuncture today, all right? And we also did some cupping. You can see some of the cupping. Oh, that's there. new. I feel like last time I was here as a med student for wellness, we didn't do cupping. Though. Yeah, so we do it now too as like an adjunct therapy. It seems to work really well for patients and they seem to love uh, wellness clinic here. Awesome, all right, we'll finish up with the last patient and get out of here for the Friday. So this is our chief with the sound therapy. Did you do some good sound therapy today? I did, I had three patients I think I might need some sound therapy. Yeah. This is the dedication our residents have to their patients. <laughs> Adam, can you explain what an admission is for inpatient? Uh, in admission, I'm making sure I have all the orders in that need to be taken care of so that the patient can have a smooth transition from one hospital stay to their next phase of care where they can get better for acute rehab. Perfect. And you're so graciously doing one at 4.30 right before I come at 5 to take over so that I don't have to do the admission tonight. Yeah. But we're a team here, so if Adam doesn't finish, I will definitely take it over. <laughs> All right, so I'm in the call room now. We got that admission done. It was a team effort. I went to see the patient. Adam helped with the notes. And so it's now 6 p.m. And my role for the rest of the night will just be to attend to the floor, answer any calls from nurses, make sure that there's no emergencies. And if there are, to answer those emergencies. And I'll be here till tomorrow, in which case that'll then be my post-call day. So this is the call room. And uh, I'll be hopefully here for the rest of the night. All right guys, so just finished a successful overnight call. I was gonna stay in the Bronx and go to right to the game, but we have a couple of hours and it's gonna be pouring rain. So I wanted to go back and get some rain gear. So drove back to the city, gonna chill a little bit, get some coffee, watch some videos on sports medicine coverage, just refreshing up because honestly, this is my first coverage and then we're gonna hit the game. All right, I just got to our main office to pick up our sports bag for sports coverage. We got a bunch of supplies in here, some wraps, tape, gauze, a bunch of stuff that you would need to cover a sports game. And uh, now I'm gonna head over to the field, which is not too far from here, and start the coverage. <laughs> All right, so just finished the game. That was a lot more active than I thought it would be, but I guess I don't have much expectations since it was my first game, but we had uh, like some muscle strains in the beginning, not too much, and then we had someone who went down, unfortunately, but it seemed like 
most likely just a concussion. We're gonna send him to the hospital anyway, just to be safe. And then while I was doing that, there was a rolled ankle that I needed some attention to. So it was hard to be two places at once. You got a triage is what I've learned, uh, but overall good experience. Everyone seemed relatively safe and uh, wow. Being up close and personal treating the injuries, more respect to football players. That is a vicious sport, but overall good experience for me. I'm gonna go bring back the sports medicine bag and then I will head home to enjoy the rest of the weekend off. Hey guys, so it's Sunday and while I'm not doing anything team and all related today, I figured I'd take you along on my day off. I just got a haircut and went to the gym. Now I'm gonna go get some food and then do a little bit of work, maybe some studying and uh, just clean up around the apartment. Always good to just get situated on your day or two off over the weekend. Hey, good morning guys. So today is Tuesday. Tuesday's our main didactic day. So we have a lecture in the morning and then we usually have a half day of clinic, whatever rotation you're on. And then uh, the rest of the day from like one to five is going to be lecture, sometimes grand rounds from four to five. And so I'm trying to go to the gym right now just because I'm very bad at going to the gym after work. And so I'm gonna get a quick workout in. I eat with us. I pay too much for my Equinox subscription, but it's worth it to me. And uh, then I'm gonna get to morning lecture, and then I'll have a half day of clinic. I just had to jump out of lecture quickly though to go do my mid-year evaluation although it's not mid-year but we're starting them early so we go over milestones that we need to get throughout pm and residency our overall numbers for injections emgs botox things like that and we also talk about our goals as residents in terms of fellowship and just what we want to get out of our overall training. So it was a great meeting with my program director, Dr. Rand, and now I'm heading back to lecture. All right guys, so we just finished lecture now. The Upper East Side squad is driving back to the city. Uh, about, I'd say a third of our residents live in the city and the rest live in housing that's provided by the program. Uh, we may or may not go to happy hour now. Uh, and what do we do in lecture? We had lectures on, on cardiac and pulmonary rehab as well as a grand rounds on imposter syndrome. So that's generally what we do on Tuesdays. And then tomorrow I will be in injection clinic, which we have on Wednesdays. What are you going to be in? Uh, I'm going to be in vestibular rehab, oh, nice. outpatient. And Nimi, who you probably saw earlier in the week, will He's be back. sleeping. Be back <laughs> <laughs> See, we work hard here. We work hard. <laughs> you lost your opportunity. No. Hey, what's going on guys? I just got back from injection clinic, did a couple of knee injections under ultrasound today and saw just a bunch of other patients in clinic. It was a good day, got out a little bit early, which was nice and I'm about to head over to the gym. But I also wanted to say congrats to all of our PGY4s who matched pain today. Today was also pain fellowship match. We had six of our residents who applied and all six matched into amazing programs. So congrats to everybody. Some of the other subspecialties, the different fellowships like sports, peds, 
That match comes out a little bit later in the year. Payne's usually the first one toward the end of September and looks like everyone did great, which was awesome to see. I was nervous because I knew they came out at 12. While I was seeing that last patient before lunch, I knew they were about to get released, but it's great to hear that everyone did so well. I'm gonna hit the gym and then tomorrow is Thursday. We have regular uh, pm &R clinic in the morning and then prosthetics and orthotics clinic in the afternoon. All right, change of plans. We are not going to the gym. We're going to a celebration party for all of our amazing fourth years that matched the Payne Fellowship today. So I'm gonna head down to uh, Lower East Side, I think, and hit a bar. Hey, to the Payne Fellows! So it is Friday again and I'm back on call and that has been a week in my life as a PGY2 PM&R resident. Been a lot of fun this week, lots of learning. I hope you enjoy coming along for the ride and if you're watching this and you eventually match at Monty, I hope to be working with you soon and to all the other people interested in PM&R out there, good luck. Actually a lot of our students uh, that we have rotating with us just submitted their application so good luck to everyone that applied and I'll see you later.